Hi guys. Um, okay, disclaimer. If you are easily triggered by stories of abuse, um, talking about anxiety and how badly it affects people, things like that, do not watch this. Um, if I'm all over the place, no. I'm having really bad anxiety right now um, to the point of really feeling really bad and couldn't even think of what to do for a video this week. And then after watching Jeffree Star's snap story yesterday, I figured that talking about mental health, how it affects me personally, this is my opinions, my experiences, um, all of that, um, just because my experience is different than yours, doesn't mean it's right, doesn't mean it's wrong. It means that's the way it affects me and what I've been through. Um, I'm not even sure where to start. Um, my abuse started when I was four. Um, it was a family member and it wasn't pretty. And two years later, it happened again with a very close family friend who was a teenager and I was six. And since then, I have had issues all my life. Um, I had to grow up two houses away from the second person. And the first person was my half brother. So obviously he was in my life, most of my life. Um, the last two weeks have been really, really hard on me. I've been really sick and found out that my half sister has stage four colon cancer. She was in the hospital. Um, she chose to forego treatment and they sent her home and her and I haven't always been close. It's been off and on, but mostly not, but she's my sister. So it really hit me hard. And then dealing with other issues with other people in my family, not being very nice. I've always been kind of the person that she goes to to cry and complain about everybody else and I'm the one that absorbs that because I have the empathy that the other people in my family don't. They don't answer the phone when she calls. Nothing. So I get to absorb all of my issues plus hers. And I've done it all my life. And I had to put a stop to it last week. And it was hard. And it's been hard. Um, I apologize if I cry. But this is anxiety. This is what it looks like. This is depression. I actually took a shower today for the first time in a week. And if you suffer from anxiety and depression, you know what a feat it is just to get undressed and get in the shower. But I did it. I had a doctor's appointment today and I thought they were going to cut on my foot again. And so I knew that if I didn't take a shower today, I wouldn't get one. And the last time I had surgery, I was going through issues with this and I didn't take a shower and it was a lot longer than a week before I got one. Anyways, I've seen so many people going after other people online lately about, oh, you, you just need to suck it up. You just need to deal with it. You just need to get over it. You can't be that anxious. You were just smiling and laughing five minutes ago. Guess what? I can laugh 
and five seconds later, I'm crying. That's the way it works. Um, just because I have issues, I used to be an inpatient mental health counselor for both children and adults. I have seen the worst of the worst. I have done suicide watch in jail. I have done suicide watch in juvenile facilities. I have been a huge advocate for these people. Um, I volunteered regularly, like four or five days a week at our local food bank. And all of that before I start having issues with my foot this year. I have dealt with these people since I was young. And they're sweet people, most of them. And people look at them and go, oh, they're dirty. Oh, they're stinky. Oh, they're crazy. They're talking to themselves. Maybe they don't have someone else to talk to. You don't know their story until you've talked to them and heard it. And a lot of people will tell you their story if you want to listen. A lot of them won't. A lot of them are too private, too afraid of what people are going to think. I won't go into a lot of detail about my issues because I'm afraid of being bullied. I've been bullied all my life for certain things. I'm weird. I was abused at a very young age and it messed me up and I never understood why I was the person that I was growing up until I was married and had just had my second child and everything from my childhood came back and I felt like I was going crazy and back then they told me I needed a vacation they didn't talk to me about what had happened nothing I've never processed what's happened to me and with that I have a lot of internal anxiety that I can't do anything about. I have tried medication. Doesn't help unless I'm really drugged up. Um, I throw things. I scream at people. I'm mean. And thankfully, my husband has put up with me for 14 years. I don't always say the right things. I'm not always the best person, but in my heart, I am a really, really loving, caring person. If I have talked to you online and I've told you, if you need anything, message me. Let me know. If you need to talk, let me know. I'm not joking. I'm not just saying it. I mean it. I mean it because I know what it feels like. And it's not easy. As far as self-care, we got to help each other. We've got to stick up for each other. And if one of your friends is having a bad day, Talk to them. Give them a reason to not feel so bad. Make sure they're eating. Make sure they're drinking. Make sure they're taking their medication. I... I was mean to somebody the other day. Online. And I ended up blocking her because... I was starting to actually get angry and think really bad things. Um, that's not me. 
anybody that knows me knows that's not me. But she pushed my buttons. And then she called me old, which was really fun. Um, I'm old, yes. But don't push it in my face. It's okay for me to say it. And normally I can take it and say, yep, I'm old and you're right. But, yeah. But, I mean, she doesn't know where I'm at right now. I don't know where she's at right now. And I probably shouldn't have said what I said to her. But when someone comes after me, I will fight back. So I, I apologize. I did say something not very nice. Um, I also, I guess, apparently somebody thinks that I bullied them. I thought I was stating my opinion. Um, I did apologize to her today for it when she said that I was bullying her. Um, I didn't mean to. Um, something probably just set me off as a lot of things have the last week and a half, two weeks, I've been really set off by things and I haven't been leaving my house. I had to today. If it was my choice, I was cuddled up in a blanket with my dogs because I didn't want to have anything to do with anybody. Um, we, I don't know about in other states, but our state in Washington, there's not a lot that they will do to help you with mental illness, um, which is what it is. It's an illness. Um, I have borderline personality disorder, um, along with a laundry list of other things, but with that and the bipolar polar that I have, my whole entire life is a roller coaster. And unfortunately, I'm at the bottom of a hill right now. I'm trying to climb out. I'm doing my best. Hence this video. Um, help each other. If you, even if you see a stranger, if they're crying, something's wrong. I have had way too many people die because someone didn't say something to them. Someone didn't say, are you okay? A lot of us will say, I'm fine. When somebody says, I'm fine, they're not fine. I, after all these years, will not say, I'm fine. If I'm not, I'm going to say, I'm not okay. Because if it's somebody that's asking me if I'm okay, they care enough to know that I'm not okay. Um... rely on friends that stick around. When you're in this funk, because I don't have anybody that sticks around except my husband. Everybody else is gone. I have friends that I have had for 20 years that have stopped being friends with me because of my anxiety and my depression. Because I can't be there for them when they need me. And it seems unfair to me. But on the other hand, I understand because I'm not there. I'm not able to be there. And I sometimes wish that more people understood that it's not okay. be trying to put yourself out there 
for someone else when you need to protect yourself because this one certain person was going through some things and I was dealing with stuff that I wasn't talking about and I don't think she understood that I was going through some stuff and that's why I wasn't there for her. Um, take care of yourself. Take time for yourself. It's a chore. Um, I'm bad at it. I'm the first one to admit I'm bad at it. Um, take a bath. Um, go sit outside on your front step. Um, get some fresh air, breathe, do some yoga, journal. Um, if you're angry at somebody and it's really bothering you, write them a letter. Write that entire letter. Get your feelings out somehow. So it doesn't build up inside and eat you up. Um, I apologize to anybody that I have said anything mean to in the last couple of weeks. Because it's not me. And it is me. It's me acting out and being mean. Because I'm hurt. And I'm anxious and I'm depressed and I shouldn't. Um, those of you that, that talk to me and know me, you know that's not me. I don't have that in my normal self to be that way. But my anxious self doesn't know how to deal with it. So I just lash out at people. <laughs> and I'm sorry. And I hope that the people that I lashed out at can forgive me. I really wish that a lot more people could be more compassionate to other people. Um, most of the time when somebody's being mean it's because they're having some issues and they need some help they need somebody to talk to them they need somebody to be nice to them if you're on medication take your medication if you're not and you think you might need it, go get on it. I stopped taking all my medication um, probably about a year and a half, two years ago. And I only use CBD and THC. Um, about a month ago, I talked to my doctor about getting back on an antidepressant of some kind and it's not working it's not helping um and i'm allergic to just about everything so it's gonna be a wild ride trying to find something <coughs> excuse me but i have to do this and not only for me but for my family. I don't want to yell at my dogs when they step in something and bring it in the house. I don't want to yell at my dogs if they stick their nose in my plate or step on my stomach. When I'm anxious like this, I hurt. I hurt really bad. My fibromyalgia gets so, so bad that just my husband walking up and putting his arm around me and touching my ribs felt like someone punched me in my ribs. Um, 
I, I can't stress self-care enough. I, I just can't take care of yourself. And if you can't, ask somebody to help you. Please. If anybody, any of my followers, any of my friends, if you need anyone to talk to at all, message me. I'm up half the night. I usually try to put my phone down around midnight if I'm not already asleep, but I'm up. I'm around. I check my phone all the time and I will talk to you. If you need to call me or I need to call you, we'll work that out and I will talk to you. Because I don't want anybody to feel alone. I can tell you from personal experience, I can stand in a crowded room and still feel like I'm alone. And I know other people feel it too because we've talked about it. So, I know this is all over the place. I know... I didn't touch on a lot of stuff that I probably should. I wasn't exactly sure what to talk about. Um, I just felt the need to stress that a lot of us have issues. A lot of us attack other people because we have issues. Um, people who are downright trolling are different. Those people have issues, but they're different. Um, be nice. We can all get along. If someone does something you don't like, it's okay to say, I don't like that you did that and move on. You don't have to attack somebody over and over and over again. And tit for tat doesn't go over real well either. So we just need to love each other and get along. But um, now I'm sure that's enough of me rambling. I hopefully will feel better next week and be able to do something other than put on some lipstick and sit here and cry. But We'll see. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.